I never understood these girls who had like quiet burps. Like, how do you do that? I suck it in. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that one college humor skit where, um, uh, like, why girls don't burp. And there's a lady with two guys like watching from a distance, seeing if she's gonna like let it out. And then she, um, and then at one point she goes privately in a bathroom, and it takes her to this like underground chamber room. And it's like decompression <laughs> activated, and she just goes belches and farts all over the place. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> it's Perfect. funny because farts are funny. It really all depends on the fart. Like, in terms of media, if you're making just a fart joke for the sake of a fart joke, it's not going to be funny. If it comes in the. Like, it depends on how you work with it. Um, a good example uh, let's say somebody's trying to hide from somewhere. And a fart will give away their position. That makes it funny because everybody will hear a fart. Fair. Yeah. That's 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 just one ideal example. Um, it 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 also has to be kind of self-aware. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If it's no, just... the best, the apex of this joke was told in Adventure Time, and it was, I think Jake burped really loud, and they were looking for him, and it's like. Jake, why did you do that? And he doesn't say, like, oh, it was a mistake or anything. He's like, I thought it would be funnier. <laughs> but that is, to me, because here's the thing, that joke never works for me, but that is the only time it has ever worked, is the guy just flat out admitted he was trying to be funny. <laughs> like, that's the only instance it worked for me, but, like, so it's like, okay, good, good on you. you. You hit the apex. Ah! You tried. You actually put effort. Uh, let's see. Will this work? Nope. Okay. So I still have to use this. That's fine with me. Alright. There we go. And. Whoa! Oh, wait. You, uh, T, just don't make it too big of a deal. It's it's not too much to worry about. All right, so let's go here. Ow! Even if I flew over them, it's still a pain in the ass. Oh, this is not good. Uh, I still have to check with my sources to see if we can get your PC in i7. Oh yeah, no, we still need to set a day where um, or a time where we can talk about the right components and everything. Like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to like afford all of it at once. I'm considering yeah. going through, like, uh, uh, saving up just for one component piece after another until I finally get all the sources. Yeah, what I was thinking, though, was, um, I looked up your CPU socket. Yeah. And, uh, its generation. Yeah. And, if I'm not mistaken, I found that most, most of what it's for is just high-end dual-core or even low-end dual-core Intels. But apparently, it is possible to get an i a couple i sevens in that socket, which would be way better. Even if they're a little outdated, they're like way better than what you currently have. I use a thirty seven ninety k. All I know are Ryzen is the most preferred type of material in terms of processors. I think, and avoid liquid coolers, which. That's fully understandable. I don't want to get liquid on my computer and, you know, fry it. Yeah, you always run the risk that if you didn't get your pipe... If you didn't get the piping done right, you will kill your PC. Yeah, not gonna go for that. If, the, um, if like, if the cooler does its job well enough, then that's it. You know, I'm not looking yeah. for, like, the high end of every single thing, you know? As long as it works well and it performs well. Yeah, just a thing to note, though. Uh, the reason why I mentioned looking in your CPU socket is because if you just bought a Ryzen, I don't think it would work in that CPU because I don't think it has the right socket for it. In fact, I'm quite sure it doesn't. Well, that's and why... Also, your, Go ahead. Well, here's the other thing. Your copy of Windows 10 that comes with that PC is usually tied to the motherboard. Meaning, if you bought a new PC from scratch, you could use unregistered Windows and for real, that all that really means is you can't change the background on the desktop until you get it registered. That's so, I mean, like, dumb. I mean, like, for real, you, you basically have Windows 10 for free 
it's just you can't change the desktop on the background unless you like have it registered. So yeah, I, if you want, if you still want to keep it registered, then keep it like that. Oh yeah, that reminds me, and I'm gonna be building a new computer uh, sometime within the next year. Oh, like what are you gonna like use? Are you just gonna upgrade parts of this PC or just build a whole new PC? I'm thinking about building a whole new PC. That is an investment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, Chad, um, if you want, you know, no obligation, um, I have the donation set to where if you donate even a dollar, you can type down something funny or just make a text-to-speech um, uh, thing happen. I'm trying to find the right words. Basically, we will all hear your comments. You yeah. can type in blip, blip, um, blip, blip, blip. Somebody sounds oh, really quiet. Oh, and also, Goldie, should probably mention, you might want to try building an APU rig for now. An APU rig? What's that? Yeah, like, if you're not going to modify your current PC, then uh, an APU rig is, um, due to the high rising price of graphics cards, instead of using a CPU in the computer, you can use an APU, where both the computer processing and the graphics processing are done in the CPU. Which is another way of saying, you effectively can play games with gaming graphics without a graphics card. What it will instead do is it will use your computer's system RAM as VRAM. And you can partition you can partition uh, how much RAM goes to visual memory or not. So pe people have been doing that until graphics card prices go down because it allows them to game without needing a graphics card. Honestly, at this point, I don't think graphic cards are going to be going down any soon, especially with all the scalpers going around. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I'm, that's why I'm not I'm not planning on building it within, like, uh, at least within a year because of the graphic cards' uh, yeah. availability and shit. You see why we don't like you scalpers? <laughs> but no, like, for real. People, and people using them for crypto mining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Such bull, such bull crap. I mean, like... Which I still don't understand, but okay. <laughs> well, I mean, like, another thing, too, is, uh... So, essentially what Ryzen did is they made APU rigs. I don't know if Intel has an APU. I know Apple does, because the Apple M1 is an APU, actually. I actually didn't know that at first. Um, yeah. Uh, no, the Apple M1 is brilliant. Much as, much as we can dislike Apple, that, that particular chipset is bloody fucking brilliant. Um... Uh, no, um, I know Intel has something called Intel Iris, which they're marketing a lot, but it's still, like, from what I understand, it's still very much way behind, uh, uh, Ryzen Radian, which is the, uh, Ryzen APU. Hmm. And at least when you get the Ryzen APU, not only could you devote system RAM to it, but, uh, it's, like, at least... I think the smallest one I saw was a quad core, and like I've seen several six core ones for really cheap too. So you get like a six core APU rig with a base clock speed of I think it's like three point seven, but you can boost it. It, can, it turbo boosts like four point one, but I think you can like overclock it to four point five or something. I Gifted think I saw one tier I to one sub to Golden Streams the community. It's the first gift sub. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub and gifting tier. I, I I can't I can't word tonight. Uh, thank you for the support there. <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what would also you know what also would be hallelujah. What? Being able to play that one stage in Among Us. Uh, the submerged map. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, that was a thing. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can get the hang of it at some point. <laughs> I still I still laugh looking at the um, the stream, uh, the, the Among Us stream, where Among we were doing hide and seek. <laughs> Duck was running away, going all, nope! <laughs> That was fun. It was. It's just all of a sudden I just hear in the background, Hey, thanks for all the... Nope! <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the scoot scoot. Now I'm going to kill you. 
Oh, that was that that that. I wish that was caught on the stream, but no, like that was just during one of our nights. But I wish that was recorded too because that it's was funny as shit. Up. It's no, funny. like I I remember calculating. You were the last two left. You both didn't know that it because there were only like four of us left at that point. Yeah, I forget who the last one was, but I killed them in such a way that like they were way, really far away from you guys. Like you would not know. And you and Bliss were together, so like, wait, they don't know I'm the last one. They don't know it was me. And then so, you had the clever idea of going, thanks for the scoot scoot, now I can kill you. Wait, what? I, when I first, <laughs> no, what I first did was like, oh, wait, they're, they're both over there. So then I'm just like, hey, uh, and I happen to know your, ra your range of vision as a crewmate doesn't reach that far enough to report it. And then I'm just like, hey, Goldie, can you pass me the scoot scoot? And then he's like, oh, yeah, sure, I can. And I'm like, great, thanks for the scoot scoot, now I can kill you. <laughs> because at that point they like bliss i happen to know bliss is way too far away from many of the bodies to actually like find them so i don't even care that i'm like flashing myself up and yet goldie basically walks or scoot scooted straight into my knife curse of the scoot scoot you walk into my knife ten times sir walk into my knife please long live the king that's just gonna be tossed off a cliff <laughs> We don't have that yet as an animation. That would be hilarious. Hmm. Uh, that would be funny. What's up? Mm -hmm. Oh great, someone wrecked all those buildings. Rip. It's been like that. Oh great, now there's a skeleton hanging out the window. Not anymore. Well, it's that oh. time of year for it. Yeah. Better than keeping your skeletons in the closet. I could just, I could just imagine um, uh, Midnight Sonata going crazy with this shit. She oh, yeah. loves Halloween so much. What's there not to love? Skeleton must have, must have had a bone to pick with someone. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Master Code. You and your goddamn puns can rot in hell. Oh, puns are awesome. I have a bottle of ginger ale, just hit him with it. Puns are awesome, though. <laughs> and while they're on the subject of that... Nice! It's not a soda, but it's um, half lemonade, half iced tea, but fuck it. I still need to think of a, um, a, a, like, a cold one drink for you. Oh. There's so already an idea cream? for there's already an idea for uh pandas. Panda punch. Yeah. Ah I like that. Yeah. She doesn't enjoy I... soda that much. Which I don't okay, blame fair. her for, and consider yourself um fortunate because okay, so for two things. One, obviously, you know, the fizz in the soda can hurt your throat if you chug it too much, and it can really irritate your nose and I think that's well, something you're we could... right? Uh... And on the other hand, um, soda is extremely bad for you. So. Oh yeah, no, it's it can be like, extremely bad for you. It, yeah. If you drink it constantly every day. Stop attacking me, Riley. It's what are you playing? I learned at all. I drink some water, and I will stop. I do drink water. I, it's either coke uh -huh, or water. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. How much water do you drink compared to soda? The yes. point is, gotcha. Words. Uh, I try to limit my soda drinkage after little health scare that happened. 